day 82 in a year of living the warrior's way. Today, I want to talk about something that is very prevalent within warrior, but also within life. And that's the subject of being cheap. Cheap. (laughs) What the fuck has that got to do with living the warrior's way? Well, I deeply remember back in 2018, a guy was on a hot seat with Coach Garrett, the leader and creator of Wake Up Warrior. And he was bitching and whinging and moaning about his relationship with his wife and how it was all going tits up and how, you know, everything was terrible and she didn't understand him and blah, 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 blah. And they weren't having sex and it was all just rubbish. And Garrett went straight for the jugular and he said, when was the last time you went on date night? And he said, oh, well, it's been, it's been months. And he said, well, okay, that's pretty shit. You're not going to build much of a relationship if you're not going out and doing things together. Then he said to him, why don't you go on date night? He said, well, you know, it's, it's so expensive to have babysitters. You know, they're, they're a nightmare. They're like $20, $25. And it's, it's crazy, you know. That's a... He said, well, uh, excuse me, how much do you earn? And this guy was earning a lot of money. Don't recall the exact amount, half a million pound a year, maybe more, driving around in a top of the range car, swanning about in his Gucci suits. And he was being cheap about a babysitter. And he was using that as an excuse to not go on date nights with his wife, to not spend time with her, to not talk with her, to not allocate the necessary resources to his relationship and Garrett said do you know the true cost of you being cheap with a babysitter and the guy like rolled his eyes and said no I'm just being cheap and he said no the true cost is if you continue to behave like this you will be headed for a divorce you will fuck your marriage up and the divorce isn't just financial loss It's mental, it's emotional, it's physical, it's everything. It fucks your children up, it fucks your life up. You then have to have all these stories and narratives and, and blame and shame and excuses. And it all really just comes down to the fact that you're being fucking cheap about a babysitter and you don't want to put in the necessary time and effort with your wife that you should do. Because you're fucking bitching and whinging about a 25 pound babysitter. It's like, fuck off, you dickhead. And I've seen this similar situation just recently with a very, very good friend of mine who is having problems with his wife. And I'm not going to mention his name, but he's a very dear brother to me. And he has his business, which is like an anchor around his neck. And he can't escape he won't trust and he won't delegate and he does a little bit but then he just gets too involved and then when he goes home he's angry and he's upset and he's not spending the necessary time and then he's saying to his wife well you don't support me and then she rightly says well you don't support me either and so they go around in this circle of blame and shame and guilt and that is a dreadful position to be in where you don't know what to do You don't know how to do things. You don't know whose fault it is. So you end up blaming each other. When the ultimate problem is, if he was just to get a manager, he would save all of these issues. If he was to trust that someone else could do what, yes, in many ways only he can do, but he can train someone up. And I don't know, I'm not the fucking marriage guidance expert, that's for sure. I don't know, but it just, it's things like the past leaves clues for us. You know, success leaves clues, as Tony Robbins says. You know, uh, life repeats itself again and again. And this is why the words of Seneca and all these other stoic philosophers from the past ring true in this century, in our life right now, because people have been through this shit. They've learned about it and they've changed things. They've adopted lessons and understandings and they've applied them to their lives the thing is we think there's some amazing hack there's some amazing thing that's gonna just just change things instead of doing the fucking work on us 
And that's where the power of the tool that we use in Warrior called the stack, where we can ask ourselves these particular questions and dig deep. Is this story really true? Hmm, let's ponder that. Is it really, really true? What evidence do you have to show that this story is true? Could this be false? What if it was false? What evidence supports that? Various different things like that. It's absolutely outrageously good. So I'm just gonna leave that with you today. Where in your world are you being cheap where you could show up in a different way? Just by paying a few extra pounds, a few extra dollars, whatever it is, maybe it's your physical commitment. Maybe you're being cheap on your exercise. And so that as a result is showing up on your body. Maybe you're being cheap in your business. Maybe you're not paying your staff enough. So as a result, they're not loyal to you. Maybe you're being cheap in your connection with your God. You pray when you want something. <laughs> oh yes, it's often said, there are no atheists on a battlefield. <laughs> in a foxhole, suddenly everybody loves God. Yeah, that's an interesting one to think about. So where are you being cheap in your life? And where can you double down in different ways? I'll leave that with you. Have a great day.